I know, I know, he's gonna do a Warhammer video. Yeah, like, I wanted it to be 20 minutes, but it's turning out to be another, like, an hour long one, so... I'm just gonna randomly put that up, and we'll just, we'll just go back to normal and rant about stuff. I, re I do have something really funny. Um, it occurred to me, like, on a fun, you know, non-political, non, you know, grief endangering non-Warhammer related front while I sit here in the rain. Um, railguns versus armor. So I was just, I was bored sitting there thinking about, you know, oh, it'd be cool if you, what if you made knight's armor out of titanium? You know, oh, you'd go for it, you, it, you know, wouldn't just stop swords and, you know, arrows and that, it'd stop bullets, you know, you'd like full-blown you know, power armor or whatever, you know? Throw an exoskeleton over it, good, like, but yeah, um, I was like, what if you did that in your backyard? Um, you know, it jumped on, and it's like, the moment you make, in Queensland, and in most states in Australia, do they all basically have the same laws for it, they all agreed to the National Firearms Agreement here in Australia, um, owning body armour is a class E weapon, uh, so it's considered a firearm, um, as it is designed to stop small arms or projectiles penetrating it, is the way it's usually defined, which is funny, because that means that if you make just shitty old knight's armor out of whatever material, and it's just for a laugh, then that's, that's legal, or whatever, you can't wear it in public, but if you're on, like, an event where everybody's laughing and that, and you've got a helmet to go with it, then you're good, as well, as long as you've got a helmet. Gotta have a helmet, man. I mean, safety first. <laughs> but yeah, um, now, the moment you decide, oh, I want that to stop an arrow because armor would have stopped arrows in medieval times, that is now a firearm. The, the armor that you're wearing is now a firearm. But, a firearm, as far as, like, a projectile sending weapon is concerned, they're all very heavy, like, Discharging of a weapon is defined, uh, like, explosive and non-explosive methods are defined. Ones that don't have a, an explosive method of sending the bullet forward are very specifically defined weapons in a lot of the acts. Like, here in Queensland, um, the closest thing to what I'm about to talk about would be, say, a powerhead, um, or, a, say, like a, like a crossbow. One is gas operated, like the power head, like a spear gun, like it's a, it's a gas projectile. So that's defined as, you know, a weapon, a firearm. I can't remember what class exactly, but... And then you got, say, for example, a crossbow or a, a bow. It's not designed... It's entirely kinetic force that's doing that. But that is defined, like the that force that is sending that projectile is defined within that weapon. So now we get to rail guns. So, the only one that are like blanket defined as um, like projectiles going down range is if you've got black powder or some kind of explosive, um, some kind of explosive sort of thing going off to send it, or air, using compressed air or gases. So it's either gonna be gas or explosive, right? A rail gun is neither. You're not, uh, by no definition, actually, in in Queensland at least, are you propelling a projectile? Like, cause especially if you're making something like a railgun to, you know, just see how far you can send an aerodynamic piece of metal, right? Like, there's a lot of, there's a, you know, there's a lot of fun things non-violent related you could do with a railgun. Then, why not? Um... Because the only part, the only way that you could really have it defined as a firearm is the actual round itself. As long as it is not to the dimensions of a 50 BM, a 50 cal a BMG rifle, like that cliche 50 cal round that you see your American YouTubers shoot at, like you know dry ice and stuff. As long as it's like not that, and it's not shaped like a knife. Like, it's, like, not, like, edged and sharpened to be, like, a knife, or it's not, like, a... Oh, what was the other one? It's, like, an arrowhead or a spearhead, so it's, like, that kind of... Like, that kind of... That kind of, like, you know, projectile. As long as it's not that, you're good. 
like you just make something that's designed to be aerodynamic something something like a bullet slug it's like or even if you just have like an old slug like a fishing sinker like that that's not a yeah at that point you're just sending around you're just making a random bit of metal fly at that point now if you were to cause harm with that yes you would be breaking the law because you've used this implement in a way that has caused harm but the actual act of making a rail gun isn't making a gun in this country it's making a an assisted metal thrower it's yeah like so it's illegal to make knight's armor to stop an arrow something as basic and non-existent in the modern world as an arrow but you can make a rail gun as long as it's bigger or smaller than <laughs> firing a projectile at least it's bigger or smaller than a 50 caliber fucking BMG and I, that's no lie how it's defined in Queensland's laws it's not defined as like you know the dimensions of that bullet it's literally they just say it's like you know 50 BMG like, if it can fire this, it's bad. So it's like, in, in all reality, you could just, like, use the slug from it, chop it down a bit, and then it's no longer a 50 BMG slug. It's just a random fucking bit of, like, you know, lead or whatever you cut in half. But yeah, and just to finish my crazy idea with the with the, uh, the knight's armor, it's like, I think about it, man, titanium, like... I reference some, um, what's his name, Demolition Ranch, that bloody video he did shooting the titanium block, like, just a fucking, what, you get like 10, maybe 15 mils thick of fucking, yeah, like 10, 15 mils thick of fucking, of like, you know, titanium, stick it on one of these fancy fucking exoskeletons I got going around. You know, do a full up like Crusader, like Ned Kelly style, and fucking slap that on every goddamn Aussie soldier. You know, just like have a fucking whole like army of like Master Chiefs. Why not? Why not? I mean, you know, we're all moving over to SDD bloody hard drives now, moving away from old hard disk drives. So all those little shiny bits of titanium are still floating around everywhere in the center of those fuckers. Like, like I know a dude that gets those and melts them down into rings and stuff. Like, I don't know, you know, it's like, you know, it's lightweight, it's fucking, so you still be able to throw a bunch of pack on there and still get use out of that awesome exoskeleton, and well, could you imagine being some, you know, let's say we're all worried about the war with China, and we, you know, someone that's coming up with, with an AK or whatever, he's like, you know, and all of a sudden there's just a bunch of bogan Aussie soldiers, like, with their styres running down the street, like, clunk, 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 it'll literally be like something out of fucking... Sorry, but out of Warhammer, it'd be like a, a space marine coming down and like, what the fuck? It's like, oh, it might be, yeah. It, it'd be cool, but that's why I'll never make armor, because someone will probably argue that I'm making it for that purpose, even though I probably just want to LARP in, like, cool-looking armor, but... I'd also want it to be light, so titan titanium would be the way to do that, because it would look good. All the other light metals would look kind of silly. But, yeah. If anybody wants to, you know, go ahead and make a railgun in their garage, YouTubers do it all the time, so it is a it is a doable thing. You can make these things. The future is here. You can legally make a space rifle in Australia, and it's not classified as a firearm yet. I'm not smart enough to do it. Someone else out there might be, though. If, if, you, if you are and you have done it, please, please show the world, because... World needs more space rifles. Ah, oh, that's right. I don't have editing software at the moment because my computer um, fried itself, so I had to get a tower, and I've installed a Linux distro on it. So I'm just trying to find some decent uh, video cutting software on the Linux. But, you know, without all the intros and all the cuts and stuff like that, just do it in the uh, hole, you know. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, it's still recording. 
fucking subscribe, comment, and all that fucking bullshit. Actually, don't. I, I like being small.